So the next question is from Irritor. Uh, they say, we're all excited with the news that there may be some adaptations coming our way. <laughs> yes, 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 there likely are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Without getting into confidential info, mm. what usually goes into the kind of conversation you've been having with Hollywood? Uh, it's been really interesting because it's been a completely different genre of conversation than I've had in the past. Uh, and they've evolved over time and things like that. And the way people treat me has changed over time. But I don't need to pitch to anyone. They pitch to mm. me, which is very nice. Um, and they come in with a big take on what they want to do. Um, and the conversation centers around mostly how are you going to make sure that this matches Brandon's vision? like. What am I allowed to do? What are you going to have me be doing uh, with television shows? Can I co-show run with someone else? Uh, can I have veto power over certain things? Can I have uh, approvals over what not? What are, you know, uh, what is my role going to be? Um, and, and things like that. Suddenly it's like, how much, basically, how much are you willing to give Brandon? Um, and how much budget are you willing to commit to? Um, and how committed are you? They're no longer conversations of, so let's, uh, let's back up and explain. The way that Hollywood normally works, for those who don't know, I'm sorry for those who do know, uh, with doing a property like um, a book property, it is what's called an option. So getting a movie made is very hard. It takes a lot of moving pieces. Um, particularly a big budget um, movie. And uh, same for a really big television show, because these are kind of synonym, synonymous right now. We're talking about both with people. Um, and what they found is that if they paid for um, full price for something, and as my agent once said, he's had about one in 30 things to get bought get made. Um, if they pay full price for 30 things and make one, then that's just a huge money sink. Mm -hmm. um, that, and the, the industry can't take chances on, on things very often that way. Uh, but if they wait to get all the pieces ready, all the people that might be involved um, beforehand and only buy the thing that they're sure they're going to be able to make, well the person would often sell it out from underneath them to someone else while they're getting this whole thing ready. And so they devised the option. The option is renting the rights to a property for a certain period of time during which it cannot be sold to anyone else. And during that period of time, the person who has optioned it or the entity that optioned it has the option to fully exercise the option and make the thing. And that usually only happens once all the pieces are together and it's basically, we're gonna be filming tomorrow. We've now exercised the option uh, and here's your kind of lump sum of money. As a rule of thumb, the options I've seen where are that you get an option payment of around five to 15% of what the total buyout would be. So if they're gonna buy your thing for $100,000, they give you $10,000 every year or so to rent it and they can do that up to for five years something like that most options are actually 18 months 18 months and 12 months so it's, it's just a weird thing but um whatnot like that and so this can be really nice for authors early in my career i got an option with dreamworks animation for alcatraz versus the evil librarians which was thirty five thousand dollars every 18 months with a final thirty five thousand dollar payout for the last 12. Uh, and they make that last one shorter to kind of be like, no, you need to really be moving. And so uh, for a guy who's, who had sold his first book just a year earlier or so for $10,000 mm -hmm. and was getting paid that in three chunks, um, I was not making a lot of money. And then suddenly it's like DreamWorks is like, here's 35 grand. I'm like, wow, like that with the – like. $3,000 I got from Tor is like close to a real person's money. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, less than it seems because agent fees come off of that as does self-employment tax uh, and your own insurance. But you know, even what's left over was like suddenly real money. Um, and so that's what I lived on. A lot of authors, this money can be very good because even though it's, it's pennies for Hollywood because they're paying 
10% of what they would normally be paying. Um, budgets are so big and buyouts can be very big uh, that, yeah. So the conversations with uh, with Mistborn have always been options, and my option money got bigger and bigger uh, to the point that you know people are paying mid six figures just for the option um, and things like that. And it has changed now that everyone's coming. And they're like, we already have the team. We are really excited by this. We'll just do a buyout. We'll just pay you up front, as if we're not going to do spend the five years trying to decide if we're going to make this. We are so confident we are going to make it that we are buying the rights right now. And our goal would be to be in production in six to eight months. Um, and that's what's happening to me now, uh, which these are not sure things. Nothing is a sure thing in Hollywood. Um, but um, I would be uh, surprised if we aren't on set um, doing things in uh, this time next year. Uh, I would be I would be shocked if we aren't. So there you are. That's where we are. Um, so uh, expect in the next few months some announcements that you might find exciting. I'm going to let the people with whom I'm uh, I'm working handle that because they like to do PR their 